But former world champion Lihlo Honolo, also known as Hands of Stone Litwaba, will be laid to rest at the West Park Cemetery today. Now, he passed away sadly last Friday due to COVID-19 complications at the age of 49. Litwaba began his career in 1990 before hanging up his gloves in 2006. My colleague Tepo Tobane is at the former world champion's funeral service at the Naledi Hall in Soweto. He joins us now. Tepo, good morning to you. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Now, I know that you are at the Naledi Hall in Soweto at the funeral, but I do understand that it is being hosted virtually as well. Um, can you give us those details for the fans at home who, you know, might want to um, attend? Yeah. Good morning, Nicole. Yes, I'm here at the Naledi Hall in Soweto, where the funeral service of uh, the late Lesho Honola, Hands of Stone Letoaba, is currently being held. He started a few minutes ago here at the hall. I mean, Lesho Honola Letoaba, everybody knows that he's, South, he's a South African boxing great who has achieved a lot in his boxing career. Well, with me here, I'm joined by the family member that is uh, the brother of uh, Lesho Honola Letoaba, that is uh, Tepo Letoaba. Tepo, thank you so much for joining us here. And, 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 and giving us your time. I know for the benefit of the viewers, can you share with us, Tepo, the, the, the fondest memories that you had with your brother? Uh, I'd like to greet everyone here, all here to support the family. I, the younger brother of Lishonolo Tepo, uh, I had many things with my brother. He never did anything that I was not that, that he can't do anything without telling me. We're so close whereby I can say only one thing that managed to separate us, it was death. But as without death we were still going to be together. And I still remember my father we used to travel together wherever he were he, he was going, especially when he wanted he was going to fight. He used to take me and ask me to share with him what's how how to attack the opponent. Then that's that's Actually, so close whereby there was nothing that can can <coughs> can, can separate us. Tepo, I mean, I, the little time that I had knowing Hands of Stone, I saw a very, very humble, down-to-earth, shy person. I mean, with a person that of his of, of his caliber, uh, a, a legend. But you no, know, meeting him, I, I I saw a very calm and and and, and down-to-earth person. Can you share with us how was he at home? Yo, he was he was a loving person. He loved anyone, everyone, not only me and two younger sisters. Everyone from the family, from the relatives. He was loved this guy. He gave all all the best that he can to the family, to the relatives. Everyone knows they had the scent of the brother. He used to support everyone, even if they see someone from the relatives in we originally from ZB, which is Petersburg. Then we used to go there. Then even if they say someone is not having something to eat or what, he would cook out every time that he can. He would, even where we stay at Mlezane, everyone knows that the guy, that's how we are. We, we, we were raised by my mother, my late mother. Like the way he was, that's the way I am today. You can even ask anyone, they'll tell you. Those two brothers, they are the same. Sapo, I know it's difficult, but briefly, can you share with us the last moments that you had with Hands of Stone. I mean, we knew of the passing last week, Saturday, but uh, I'm sure you must have communicated with him. Can you share with us the last moments that you had? I know it's difficult, but uh, can you do that? The last moment that I had, my brother, when he passed away, I was there with him. He called me and told me to leave my car at home at Militan, where we stay, and come and take him to the hospital with his car. Then I, I went there, I took a taxi to the to Mondio. Then when I arrived there, yo, that my brother was struggling to breathe. It was very difficult to breathe. Then I still remember he when I arrived there's this guy who was fumi who just fumigated the house. He told my brother the, my brother that hey, champ, champ, your younger brother is here, champ is here. Then he opened his eyes and he laughed and after that he closed his eyes. He never opened his eyes until we took him into the car. That's where he passed away. Very sad indeed. Thank you so much, Tepo, for your time through this difficult time. Nicole, yes, uh, we were talking to Tepo Letoaba, the younger brother of the late Lechohonola, Hands of Stone Letoaba, sharing with us how he was and also telling us about his last moments before his untimely death.